Hey VC, it's uh, Jonathan, the Cheap and Cheerful Record Collector. I hope everybody's doing well out there today. Um, so today I got some different things I want to show. Um, about a month or so ago, I went to Goodwill, uh, one of my local Goodwills, and looked through, not, not, not the same old crap, nothing, nothing worth anything, nothing I was interested in. So I left, but before I left, I remember they had what they call a curated section which is just another way for them to charge more money for what they get for free anyway i went over there just to browse about and i see a box on the floor and i start looking at them and there's all these records i've never seen before and i was really excited the first one i saw was and they're all um seven inch 45 rpm eps so they're all two or three songs aside and all jazz from the 1950s I had never seen it before. The first one I saw, which stopped me in my tracks, was Chet Baker. And this is Chet Baker Quartet on Pacific Jazz Records. I think this was from 1953. There's the back. And it's a nice little seven inch. There it is. And one side has Isn't It Romantic and This Time The Dream's On Me. And the other side is Easy to Love and Batter Up. Russ Freeman on piano. And let me see what else is it. Uh, Larry Bunker on drums. Carson Smith on bass. Da, 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 Bobby Whitlock. Bobby White. But I've just never seen a seven inch uh, 45 RPM EP from the 50s. So that was the first one I saw. Next one. Another Chet Baker. This is Chet Baker Quartet, also, also on Pacific Jazz Records. Um, same label. Pretty cool. This has uh, The Lamp is Low and Made in Mexico. And there was Imagination and Rust Job. Um, interesting. They all had these little cards in them. So it must have been from a library. Because it says last time checked out was uh, September 21st, 1957. First time it was checked out was June 15th, 54. And these cards are in almost all these. And they're all in really good condition. I played them all and they all sound great. Um... They're not worth a heck of a lot, but <laughs> the box had a, a sign on it that said five records for six dollars. So I ended up picking up 10 records. I went to the register and I said, there's no sticker on these, but on the box, it said six records, uh, five records for six dollars. I have 10 records. That would be 12. You should charge me twelve dollars. So the woman looked at me like with this quizzical look on her face went through them, gave me another look. I said, six records for $5. I mean, five records for $6. I have 10 records, that would be $12. She gave me another quizzical look. She rang up the register. She charged me $6. I just didn't want to fight with her. She wanted to charge me $6, that's fine. I tried to correct you twice. Now it's on you. So I got them all, I got all uh, 10 records for $6. So I wasn't going to complain. Next one up. Duke Ellington, I mean, Oscar Peterson plays Duke Ellington. And this is uh, In a Mellow Tone, Take the A Train, Things Ain't What They Used to Be, and I've Got It Bad, and That Ain't Good. And this one has a sticker on it. It says Clef Records on the corner there. And there's the Clef Records. That, that's just the one that's worth the most fun, uh, not the Chet Bakers, but still very cool. 45 RPM EP. Hi-Fi Uptown, Duke Ellington. Um, only one song aside on this one, Skin Deep on one side and The Mooch on the other side. Louis Belson plays drums on it, on the Columbia label. Um, what else? Oh, this one, I actually have a full 12-inch uh, album of it, but since I saw the uh, 
45, seven inch. I had to grab it. And I love the cover. I like jazz. Uh, Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Benny Goodman, Dave Brubeck. Um, on the same Columbia 45 label. And these sound really good. I mean, uh, 45 and they cleaned them up and they just, they just sound really good. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald. This is Ella Songs in a Mellow Mood Part 3 with the Ellis Larkin on piano. And this is an AEP, has two songs on the side. Baby, What Else Can I Do? And Nice Work If You Can Get It. And My Heart Belongs to Daddy. And You Leave Me Breathless on Decca. And these are all from 53 to about 57, 1953 to 1957. Uh, Duke Ellington is orchestra. Great cover. Uh, Perdito and Take the A-Train. Back on that Columbia label. Nothing special there. But this band, because it's Duke Ellington, has Ray Nance, Clark Terry. Um, who else am I looking for? His one? Harry Carney. Louis Belson. Really great. I love that caricature of Duke down in the corner. Duke Ellington. Uh, Bunny Berrigan. Great trumpet player. Um, and singer on RCA. And this has, um, one side has I Can't Get Started and Frankie and Johnny. The other side is Caravan and the Prisoner Song. These are all recorded in the 30s, but it came out in the 50s. Um, nice one there. The next one, let's see. Yeah. Next one, I didn't know anything about this, but I remembered that I knew there are some jazz uh, rec albums recorded at the Lighthouse in San Francisco area. So when I saw Howard, Ram Howard Rumsey's Lighthouse All-Stars Volume 1, I really didn't know who he was, but I looked in the back and a Shorty Rogers and Shelly Mann. So I figured, I, I figured, how bad can it be? I open it up and it's red vinyl. And Howard, Howard Rumsey's Lighthouse All-Stars, I guess he was the house band at the Lighthouse. And Out of Nowhere and Big Girl on one side, and Swing Shift and Viva Zapata on the other side. Um, I know Shorty Rogers and stuff, so I thought that was a, a no-brainer to pick that up for that price. And the same thing, but Volume 4. Uh, basically the same band, Shorty Rogers, Jimmy Giffer, uh, Hampton Hawes, Shelley Hanneman. Can't go wrong. And this is also a uh, red vinyl on the Contemporary Lighthouse series, Contemporary Records. Pretty cool there. This one is a gatefold, a 45 RPM gatefold. Benny Goodman, Fletcher Henderson, arranged by Fletcher Henderson, and it opens up, bada bing, bada boom. And the records come out the top. And these are all again on the Columbia. Nothing great there, but still pretty cool. And uh, I love the gatefold. Still in good shape from way back when. And he does Honeysuckle Rose, I'll Never Say Never Again. Um, Somebody Stole My Gal. Frenzy. Henderson Stomp. So, really nice. Three records. Benny Goodman, arrangements by Fletcher Henderson. And a couple of the other ones I'm going to show are ones I've had for a while, which I picked up. Um, this is a, this not recently, this I've had these for about a year or so. This is Louis Armstrong. And this is called the From New Orleans to New York. Louis Armstrong Classics. Also on a gatefold. Two records. And... On Decca. And on this he does uh, When the Saints Go Marching In, By and By, West End Blues, uh, Save It Pretty Mama, <laughs> I'm Glad You're Dead, You Rascal You, and When It's Sleepy Time Down South. Another one I picked up a while ago, also uh, Gatefold, 7-inch EP, is Eartha Kitt. 
that bad Eartha. This is on RCA Victor. 45 extended play. Let's do it. Smoke gets in your eyes. Sandy tune. Under the Bridges of Paris. Senior. My heart belongs to Daddy. The Blues with Henri René and his orchestra. Again, gatefold. Two records. 245s. Eartha Kit. I don't collect 45s. These are the only ones I have. I have a couple more I'll show. These I've picked up more recently. This is the um, a Record Store Day release from, can't remember the day on it, but getting close to that season, I'm going to show it, and it's Miles Davis uh, and Gil Evans' Blue Christmas and Devil May Care. Um, this features um, Bob Doro as the vocalist, maybe the only time that uh, Miles recorded with the vocalist. And it does Blue Christmas, Blue Xmas, I'm sorry, on Blue Vinyl. This is a Record Store Day release a number of years ago. And at the same time, I picked up this one by the great, if I can open it up. I guess I don't have the great Bessie Smith. And this is at, at the Christmas Ball and Jasbo Brown from Memphis Town. Uh, Fletcher Henderson's on here with her. Charlie Green on trombone, recorded 1925 and 1926. <clears throat> Again, this was a record store day release a number of years ago, and this is on uh, Columbia Red Vinyl. And the only other 45 I have, I have two more 45s in my collection. This one, again, another record store day thing. Like I said, I don't usually do a lot, but Continental Club in Austin, Texas. And this is with... Uh, Steve Earle and the Dukes. Are you sure Hank done it that way? And Fixin' to Die live. So I'm a big Steve Earle fan. And my only time I ever went to Austin, we went to the Continental Club and heard some music there. It was great. So, and of course I got a t-shirt because you got to get a t-shirt when you go to the Continental Club. That was cool. And the last one I have is a, um, came, uh, I think it was also a record, uh, no, it's a uh, Barnes & Noble exclusive, uh, Robert Randolph and the Family Band, sort of a uh, promotion for his album, um, Got Soul. And Robert Randolph and the Family Band as the label, one side, yeah, uh, red, one side, yellow and he does got soul and i thank you so that's really all i have for 45 so like i said it's a uh, a rabbit hole i don't want to go down it's uh once you start there's no ending so i basically don't buy 45s but <clears throat> those i couldn't resist uh, i got a lot more records i picked up recently so i'm going to make another video hopefully within a couple of days I picked up some today i got just getting a ridiculous amount of records and tomorrow we're going down to Boston to uh, the first record show I've been to in two years. So uh, maybe we'll do a video from that and show uh, what we found down there in Boston. Okay, hope everybody's doing well. Um, and until next time, peace.